So this is the Creekside Bike Park. Um, it's by no means like an official trail system, but I've been building it for the past couple of years and we've got a total of five, I guess, options that you can ride down. And for it being a relatively small hill that only has about 50 feet of descending, I feel like we've really made a lot of the area. And I feel like a lot of people out there really want to build mountain bike trails and they technically know that they can't do it legally, but what I've learned is that if you go far enough away, you find a place that people really aren't like necessarily using all the time or pe there's just a place where people aren't paying attention to. Um, like this spot, for instance, is right underneath the highway. There's a lot of there's a lot of homeless people down here and there's a lot of like, I guess, sketchy ish activities that go on. But I don't really deal with that. Um, it's not too big of a problem, but I've finally secluded myself away from the town where I used to deal a lot with like police and just angry people in general and uh, I finally finally kind of got something established so yeah I would like to kind of show you guys the work that I do down here and kind of take you along for the ride um, let's get to some trail maintenance and building some wooden features so usually when I come down here first thing I do is I water all my jumps and this is the one thing that is nice about this bike park, I guess, is that we do have, I guess, really great water access and compared to most places that are not the most legal trails. Um, yeah, because you usually can't get a hose out to them, uh, which makes it really difficult. But we're fortunate enough to have the creek. I don't usually do this during the winter just because it's wet enough here, but it is a little summer right now. So we're on to the next bit of like trail maintenance, I guess. Um, and the big thing about this one is that you're gonna need a shovel, uh, and if you're building any mountain bike trail you're gonna deal with this problem and it's just overgrown vegetation um i sort of have to do it about every couple weeks just come through and hit it with the shovel uh the one kind of tricky part about having a shovel down here is that it gets stolen all the time so i've really had to like stash it and put it in a good spot so that i don't have to deal with that um, i haven't had one stolen in the past three months so i guess we're on a roll we can move on to the fun stuff the new stuff um, and it's building this trail right here so it doesn't actually look like much it actually intersects with the trail that comes through here um, but it's going to be a little launch right here you launch off this and if you can see that little spot down there that'll be our landing spot it's definitely a stretch we're probably gonna have to clear some of these branches and then clear out the whole area down there and then where my wooden feature idea comes into play is uh, further down. After you come through here, you'll turn. And then right here, there's almost a drop off. It's kind of hard to see with all the grass, but right here, we'll put a, almost a little wooden, like wooden drop. It was kind of my plan. And then it'll drop into this whole area right here and just come out in the riverbed.
Okay, so it's a couple days later. I still actually haven't gotten the ladder fully finished because the nails I was using really wasn't working for how hard the wood is down here. Um, I was using kind of cheap galvanized nails and they were just bending over. So I came back, tried to use screws. That didn't work either because my drill died. So I'm back for round three uh, with better screws, better nails. So we better figure it out today. And hopefully today we actually get to riding it because I brought the 170 bike, so this trail should be perfect for it. Alright, so I'm being entirely honest with you, I built this drop. It's a little underwhelming. It's not much of a drop, it's more of like a, you just roll over it. Uh, Cause it kind of just fills up the space right here. Adds a little bit more sketch, which is what I like. But also the best part about this thing is I think we can move it around the bike park and put it in a couple different places. But yeah, let's try it out. So I just got done with the trail behind me. It was actually really fun to build. Um, it's kind of fun because the dirt right now is super loose and digging like just just ruts is super easy and the bikes kind of do it for you. Um, but the trail is super fast, really, really fast, way faster than I thought I was gonna get it um, just cause how sharp that corner is. But when you hook it and hook it well, it works, but when it doesn't, you just go flying right off the trail. Um, but yeah, the log drop carries way more speed and definitely a successful build and I'll catch you in the next one.